Hi everybody, my name is Aliyah Hamada Forrest. I'm the director of Roslindale Village Main Street and today we are in Futura Productions. Hi John. Hi Aaliyah. <laughs> Thank you for having us up at Futura Productions. It's always surprising when people find out there's a production studio in Roslindale. Can you tell us a little bit about Futura Productions? I moved my studio here in 2003. Um, I was in Boston on Boylston Street near Fenway Park for about four years, um, but got the opportunity to move into this building in April of 2003. So I've been 15 years here uh, in the square. It's been fantastic. Was it a music studio, a production studio before? It was. Um, it was called Sonic Temple before here. Originally, this third floor, um, we're in a three-story building um, right across from the commuter rail train station. And this third floor uh, was added in 1915. Like the building itself was a two-story building up until then. And then they added the third floor in 1915 and it was a Masonic Lodge. And then in 95, uh, Fenwick Smith, who was a flutist for the uh, BSO, uh, bought the building uh, for a real estate investment and a place to do uh, chamber music recording. Who has been here that people should know about in Roslindale, in this studio? Well, our clientele comes from all over the place. Um, we have, uh, we do handle a lot of uh, local in Boston and New England musicians and artists, but also people from around the country and, and from around the world. But also, we're really welcoming of like all styles and all levels of music. So some people will think, well, it looks like a really big fancy studio, you know, they don't want to you know, I'm just an amateur or a student or something, but we have special rates for students, and so we really try to um, cater to all all types of, of clients and people that would come in. You know, people need different things. Sometimes they have an exact idea of what they want, other times they need help, and that's where we step in as producers to try to help guide them and give them some ideas of doing things. Do you have recordings here that aren't necessarily music, but maybe like voiceovers or? Yeah, sure, definitely. Um, we've done some, people have done some spoken word things. We've had a lot of recording for uh, voices for video game characters. We've had people like reading for like medical conferences and that sort of thing. Um, so there's all sorts of, um, there's all sorts of needs for audio. I heard this is the biggest production studio, music production studio in New England, is that? Yeah, we're in the control room right now, but um, but we have a very large performance room and we can fit orchestras in there and choirs. We even have a, a recording choir for the studio. It's a 75 voice choir oh. called Vox Futura and it's scalable and we've done work for uh, classical composers and artists from around the world, uh, independent composers, uh, even a German metal band, all <laughs> sorts all sorts of stuff. Something that we hear a lot in our office about this space and some of our residents, business owners, board members sometimes ask, can somebody rent out this space for an event? Well, anybody, uh, just generally speaking, can come in here and have us record things. Mm. That's no problem. So we have a lot of, I mean, we have a lot of uh, experienced and super skilled musicians and artists that come here, but we have students that come here all the time and do demos. We have people that just have always been interested in, in trying to do their own recording and we help them with those things. Um, but then sometimes people want to have functions here or or concerts and, and we can't have things that are open to the public here. Um, but we, we have private recitals and, mm. and things like that. So that is something that is, is possible for people to do. And we've had, you know, small, like, um, fundraising concerts or sometimes there'd be a, a piano teacher or a vocal, a voice teacher that will want to have a recital for mm -hmm. their family and friends, that kind of thing. So we can do things like that. Cool. And what we're hoping to, to do is also um, be able to offer streaming concerts. And that's how we feel like we would be able to really bring music like that to, to all around, everywhere over the world. That would be awesome. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. 
So it's uh, 38 feet wide by 60 feet long with a 22 foot ceiling. Wow. And to put that in perspective, um, that's the same size as one of the most famous studios in the world, Abbey Road, which is oh. where the Beatles did a lot of their recordings. That's really cool. So we're able to fit up to a 75 piece orchestra in here or a hundred voice choir or bands or any sort of thing that yeah. we have. In fact, this weekend we have a 20 piece orchestra coming in of professional musicians who are gonna be performing uh, student compositions uh, from Berkeley for a class. So the students will get to compose uh, this orchestra of 20 people. Wow. So that's all being set up on Friday. We do have a lot of stuff in here. Yes, we have, well, we have loads of chairs and music stands mm -hmm. and a lot of microphone stands and wow. uh, microphones. And Why are those microphones so high up? Those, for example, what we, we just had a string quartet in on Monday with clarinet, and, and the way you do that is you'll have microphones that are closer to the instruments, but then you'll have these microphones at a distance capturing the whole group. Cool. And so that's what they're for. And is this where people can just sit? People can sit, but also, let me show you, it's part of the acoustic design here, too. So these are... Uh, known cool. as bass traps, so they help, they help control the uh, low-end frequencies in the room, make it sound better. Cool. And uh, we also have other acoustic things, like the cylinders on the wall, and the panels on the ceiling, and the arches, and that sort of thing. So that's all designed to help control the sound. Mm -hmm. But also, the, um, the woodwork, this was a large room. This is where the a lodge would have meetings. And so all this woodwork, the dental molding and the columns and all these things, those were all from the lodge. And that uneven surface breaks up the sound. It makes it sound more natural. Wow. So this yeah. was a Masonic lodge. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And that art is original from that time period? That's right. It's actually of Corinth, which makes a lot of sense because that's Corinth Street. That's right behind us. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And we have a piano. It's a large Steinway concert grand piano, like you might find at Symphony Hall. Wow. And um, we had a, a client in this past weekend that were playing solo piano versions of music from a, a video game. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Which video game? Stardew Valley. Don't know it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a farming game. You should, uh, cool. you should try it out. So. I'm afraid to like touch anything. What is that? That's an organ that was left over from when it was a lodge, and we keep it there for vibe. The, the organ isn't working anymore. Okay. It's not here today, but we also have the harpsichord from the Handel and Hines Society and their chamber organ, and they normally live here, but sometimes they take field trips when they have to do concerts, and so they're, they're gone today. Uh, one thing that is here today are these uh, kettle drums. These are the ancestor of the timpani. They're Turkish kettle drums. Wow. Yeah. That's camel skin. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. This part? No, this that's part? copper. Yeah, yeah the, okay. The part right there. I was like, that's a very tough camel. Yes, exactly. So we do a lot of uh, music from the, from the Mediterranean, a lot of Turkish music and Arabic music and Greek music. Perfect. We have a Byzantine choir coming in. Oh, really? Yep. Absolutely. Coming in uh, next month. Wow. Thank you so much for watching this video, Roslindale. If you're interested in seeing more, click subscribe to subscribe to our channel.